How's it going everybody? This is Matt from the Runner's Alley Racing Team. Uh, today I'm going to do a very quick shoe review on the Brooks Levitate, a uh, new training shoe that came out from Brooks, I guess it would be probably a couple months ago in the fall. Uh, I just picked this up, I guess about two weeks ago from Runner's Alley in Portsmouth. Uh, Christine steered me toward these. I've actually had been running in quite a few different brands of shoes. Um, a lot of my long runs had been, been done in the Brooks Glycerin 14. And they actually just came out with a 15 a while back, and my f intention was to go down and pick that up. I actually went down, tried those on. Uh, Christine helped me out, and I liked them right away, the 14, but Christine recommended that I give these a shot. Um, you know, these are getting quite a bit of hype right now. She mentioned she was running in them. Some other folks she knew were uh, putting in some positive reviews on them. So I decided to give them a shot and try them on in the store, and actually liked them right away. Uh, I noticed right away um, I had just run a 16 mile race, that Boston prep race over in Derry and kind of banged up my feet a little bit. Uh, nothing terrible, but just uh, there's a lot of hills in that race. So had some soreness. And when I put these on, you know, I noticed right away had a lot of uh, the toe box felt great. It's got these sort of elastic type materials. Um, whereas the glycerin 14 or 15 model was, I guess, a little tighter in the toe box, still felt good. But these immediately, like there was relief when I put them on. Um, and just walked around in the, in the store a little bit uh, and decided I would give them a shot. So, again, that was a few weeks ago. Now I've had a chance to probably do about eight or nine runs in these shoes, so I felt qualified to, I guess, at least offer some initial impressions. I um, actually did a 19-mile run in these yesterday, and I like them quite a bit so far. Uh, so they're being promoted uh, with this DNA amp uh, foam that they have that I guess was made by... BASF, which is a chemical company, and I think they've also done some stuff for Adidas, so Brooks put that in here, and I think their intention was to really try to get the maximum energy return. So in the marketing materials, they note that you get a 72% energy return because of this DNA amp foam. Um, I don't know, I'm always a little skeptical of those marketing claims, but I just want to know that the shoe feels good when it's on, it's kind of uh, supporting my foot when I run, and maybe the next day... You know, if I've got a really good trainer, my foot may feel a little bit better, maybe fewer aches and pains overall. So, uh, so, so again, initial impressions on these, I think the styling, I'd give it like a B minus if I was going to give it a grade. You know, not bad. Uh, definitely not the kind of thing that's eye-catching in a bad way, but not super snazzy or anything like that. So for me, like the styling is probably the least important thing. Um, so I think these certainly fit my criteria in that space. Uh, so comfort and foot feel, like when at rest, like you know, first slipping them on, walking around in them, I give them like a solid A minus in that category. Again, as I said, they felt great on my feet. Um, you know, liked them right away uh, before even running in them. I was like, oh, this is a good shoe. Even if I were gonna, you know, do the just standing around thing or some walking, I think it's excellent for that kind of thing. Um, Quality materials, again, I've got something like 80 miles in these already, and, you know, to me, they look new. And the run I did yesterday, the 19-miler, we were out there sloshing around in the rain, um, and it was a lot of ups and downs on that, some rolling hills, and I think these are holding up really well so far. Uh, you know, again, the uppers are really nice, and I don't see any weathering there so far, even, you know, dealing with all the moisture. I think the soles are well-constructed, and the grip is pretty good as well, so... Um, I think I got a little over 400 miles out of my Glycerin 14s, and I actually had the Glycerin 13 model as well, and I got something like 400 miles out of those. I feel like these are going to be the same, just based on initial response, uh, initial impressions. Uh, so comfort and foot feel on the run, solid B+. Plus. As I mentioned, I ran long in them yesterday, and they felt great. Um, they're a little heavy, you know, when you first, first couple of runs, uh, I think... The weight on them is 9.7, uh, which is similar to the Glycerin 14 and 13. Those were in like the 10 ounce range. Uh, it feels a little heavy when you first get going in them, but you know, kind of, I quickly got used to that. Uh, we weren't going a super aggressive pace yesterday, and uh, so I think it's it's really you know feels pretty good for those long runs. And after a couple miles, you kind of forget you've got them on and then you just sort of enjoy the fact that you've got a good amount of cushion and a good amount of support and it's easy to like settle into that run. Uh, so 
day after the long run, you know, today I got up early and I also got a seven mile run in. I wasn't sure how that was going to go after running 19 yesterday. Um, I didn't run in these because I tend to switch day to day, but really no unusual aches or pains out there. Um, you know, sometimes after a long run, you pretty much need a day off. Uh, I felt good today. Uh, my feet didn't hurt, no blisters or anything like that. So with the rainy conditions yesterday, you know, that's a really good sign that this shoe protected my foot in rainy conditions on a very long run and no adverse effects today. So I'd give them kind of a, an A minus, you know, day after the run rating. Um, and then value standpoint, I think these are selling for about $150 down at Runner's Alley now, which is a pretty solid deal. Um, you know, I tend to honestly go toward the more economical running shoes when I can find them. But Brooks, I've found uh, with the glycerin and I think now with this shoe, I think they're really worth the extra money. Uh, you know, are you going to get that 72% energy return that's going to make you a better runner like the marketing materials say? Uh, I don't know about that, uh, but I, I do think they're good value overall and that you're going to get much better support than you would from an economy running shoe. So for 90% of your running during the week, which should be kind of slow to moderate runs, I think this is a great shoe for that. Uh, and I think you're going to get much higher mileage out of a shoe like this than you're going to get out of the more economical shoes that might sell for under $100. So I think we've all made mistakes on kind of going cheap on shoes before. So good value there. So what it, what is this shoe good for? Uh, as I mentioned before, kind of really good for the long, steady, slow runs, which should be roughly 90% of your running. Um, I think it's a good shoe for like runners with like larger builds, larger frames. I think some of the people who might be moving around out there, they're 120, 130 pounds. You're kind of lightweight runners, they might feel like this is too heavy, um, but, you know, for runners that are uh, kind of uh, more, I don't want to say normal size, but uh, larger runners, even people like myself, uh, this feels like a good weight out there, and I think, you know, if you've got a, a larger frame, it, it helps to be in more shoe to have that weight, like, distributed, uh, especially if you're, like, a heel striker, so I think this will serve you well. Um, Run. These are probably not good for like speed work, aggressive tempo runs, things like that. You know, I, I definitely like a lighter shoe. Um, so I actually did a 5K. I might have been last weekend. I warmed up in these shoes and I put on some racing flats. And then for my cool down run, I put these on again. Um, and that kind of transition feels really good too because you're sort of dropping into a lighter shoe from these. So I wouldn't wear these in a 5K race or, you know, I mean, maybe a half marathon if I were battling any kind of foot injuries or something like that. I might jump to something like this. Uh, also, not especially good for my note here would be like if you're trying to impress your friends. You know, I <laughs> think these shoes don't really draw the eye, which is a good thing. Um, and uh, so just kind of conservative on the styling. So pretty good, but pretty forgettable overall. But again, that's like my least important criteria when I'm looking at running shoes. Um, so that's pretty much all I've got on that. That's kind of a longer review anyway, but I would recommend these. Uh, they are for sale down at the Portsmouth Runners Alley as well as the other stores over in Manchester and Concord. Um, try them on. You know, Runners Alley will let you go for a quick run in them. Uh, you know, I find that a lot of times I need to run in something for 15 or 20 miles before I start to really form my opinions. But I think you'll agree, like, as soon as you put these on, walk around the store a little bit, maybe go on a quick jog, you'll feel how soft and comfortable they are. And even if the weight initially feels a little bit heavy, I think you'll find that you'll get used to that and your feet and probably the rest of your uh, body will thank you after like a long run and a more supportive shoe like this. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Again, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting another 320, 350 miles out of this shoe. Um, and I think probably good things to come for the Levitate line. This is the first one in there. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty much sold at this point. So thanks.